Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Say hello. And uh, we'll get started here shortly. Um, so I got some costume for you, some sterling silver. Um, a lot of the costumes are going to be one, two dollar start, stuff like that. So I'll wait till some folks come on in. They'll get rocking and rolling. I know it's kind of early. Jose's going to um, Pocatello this morning for a few days. So I will be here with my little boy I'm going to help my parents this morning to um to put the pool in well not we gotta like pack the sand and stuff so not quite the pool part yet but getting there <laughs> so come on in say hello i'll wait a few minutes and uh i'm gonna go i want to try something if for some reason you're just coming in and uh, I switched my camera and uh, it doesn't work. Give me a minute, I will be back. Oh, sweet, it worked. Okay, awesome, awesomeness. So come on in, say hello. Good morning, everybody, grab your coffee, grab your, your orange juice, whatever it is that you fancy to drink and uh, we'll get rocking. We'll be on for like an hour and a half or so, hour, something like that. But I do have some sterling to show you this morning. And a little baggie of rings, a few other things, some brooches that are sterling silver as well. Costume rings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope you're all having a good Wednesday morning. It is indeed Wednesday. Hump day. Hump day. Excuse me. Hmm, is that my screen or is that dust? I think that's my screen that needs to be clean. That is definitely my screen. <laughs> What's up, Cool Ranch? Welcome in. Good morning. Got my coffee. Awesomeness. <laughs> Sweet. I didn't get coffee this morning. I ended up uh, grabbing myself a, a tall glass of orange juice. The only coffee I really want, though, right now is like a nice tall iced coffee with an extra shot of espresso with some like caramel syrup you know the the dessert coffee that's that's the type of coffee I'm, I'm fancying this morning so the hot coffee from home just wasn't uh, doesn't sound good to me today <laughs> cool ranch is in the house thank you so much come on in everybody else come say hello we're gonna get rocking and rolling I got lots of costume stuff um I got lots of sterling silver to show you I'm going to switch my camera again. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh, there we go. Sweet. Yay. I got a huge order of sterling silver coming in here um, in the next couple of weeks. So I want to try to bounce out some of the stuff that I got. So uh, I can make room for the new stuff. I got tons of brooches and, and pendants and earrings and chains and, and rings and you name it. That, a bunch of Native American um, pieces as well. So yeah, that's about it, you know. As you know. Um, I know it's early, 7.30 over in California. The, the California people are like, oh, no way. <laughs> Good morning, Crack, and welcome in. Just got my coffee, sweetness. How do you guys drink your coffee? Do you like it kind of desserty? See, like, or do you like it like more bitter, black with just cream or whatever? At home, I drink mine, cream, milk only. But then when I go to um, Mazebo, coffee or 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 city brew or whatever i always get the one that you know super sweet it's like a dessert <laughs> so it depends where i am <laughs> depends where i am good morning everybody um i'm just gonna get rocking and rolling i think uh some people will show up once they wake up see that i'm live all that fun stuff so i'm gonna flip my camera again if you're just coming in jose is leaving to go to pocatello this morning he'll be back on saturday so I'm going to do an auction, and then when I get off of here, I'm going to go say goodbye to him and uh, get him out the door. Cream and Splenda. My mom likes uh, milk in the blue package. 
Okay, I guess it's kind of like Splenda or the Sweet and Low. Sweet and Low, that's the one, the pink one, right? Yeah, that one. <laughs> so I'm going to switch my camera around again. All right, guys. Ten people in the house. Thank you, guys. Come on in, say hello. Come chit-chat with us this morning. Uh, first thing I got going on here, we're just going to do a $1 start. And I'm not going to diddle-daddle for too long since there's not a whole lot of people here quite yet. So, um... If there's no interest, I'll just go ahead and put it to the side, but you know how it rolls. If something gets passed, you decide that you want it later on, let me know in the chat or uh, text me, email me, whichever. Ashley, what's happening, girl? Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Just a silver tone brooch. You got the three, four, like, AB-coated rhinestones down here. Seems to be in pretty darn good condition. It's not marked that I can tell. Now, one dollar start on this. Used to drink my coffee black for years and transitioned over to cream. Required the taste for caramel macchiato. Oh, I love a good caramel macchiato. See, I used to like my coffee black when I was younger when I smoked um, cigarettes. Now I, I vape. But for some reason, black coffee and cigarettes was my thing, you know? I know it sounds gross, but it's, it's just the truth. <laughs> but now, no, I can't do the black coffee. All right, guys, if there's no interest in this brooch for $1, that is totally cool. I'm going to put it off to the side here. The next thing, I do have a few brooches to get us started off with here. Uh, we're just going to do another $1, oops, $1 start on this. Another silver tone one. And are those, those are acrylic. So these pieces, the colorful ones, they are acrylic. Uh, you got like different shades of, of green is what's going on there. You do have the four stones over here, and there's the un underside of it there. Again, no marking, but just a pretty little brooch. But these pieces right here are acrylic pieces. But nonetheless, still pretty. Pretty. And oh, I'm guessing this piece right here is acrylic as well. I just saw that one. And I'm not sure if I get too much light or not enough. So I'm going to turn it down. I think that looks a little bit better. There you go. Cool Ranch is in for a dollar on this. Thank you. Thank you. We are looking for two. One dollar. Looking for two dollars. Love Hollis is in the house. What's happening, love? Welcome in. Good morning, y'all. Alrighty, folks. I am going to go once to Cool Ranch for a dollar. Looking for two. Going twice. Last call, y'all. And sold to Cool Ranch. Thank you, Cool Ranch. Appreciate you. Cool to the ranch. Okay, I did. let's see. I got uh, a couple of bird brooches. <laughs> uh, first one being, this one's marked Art. And we're going to do a $2 start on him. He's a cutie. Just a cute little gold tone, silver tone bird standing on some leaves. He's got the little rhinestone eye there. And then here's your art um, signature down there at the bottom. I'm not sure if he's vintage or what's going on, but he's a cutie. Cracking comes in for two, looking for three. Received my ring brooches. Cool ranch. Awesome. There we go. And for those of you uh, that have packages waiting to be shipped out um, to you to get to you. I kind of fell behind a little bit this week. They will be going out before the weekend hits. Isn't he cute, Kraken? I thought so. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go once. The Kraken for two, looking for three. Going twice. Last call, y'all. Oh. And um, sold to Kraken for two dollars. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Kraken, do I have your information? I don't recall. Let me look at my email real quick. Let me just type in Kraken, see if it brings up anything. And if not, no, it doesn't seem like I do. Could you send me an email with your uh, PayPal info, your real name, your YouTube name, and your uh, shipping zip code? Thank you, thank you. Cracking reseller. There we go. 
Oh, you, a scooter has your information? Okie dokie, artichokey. I will uh, send her a message later on. We're going to do another $2 start. Oops. There you go. Gold tone brooch. You got the uh, blue and like green enameling. Get a little rhinestone eye right there. And it's marked LC. LC on the brooch. Is this like a. No, it's not a parrot. Is it a parrot? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know my birds. There we go. I could tell you if it was a cockatiel, but that's about it. That's all I know. <laughs> So two dollars start on that. Let me move a few things around here. Okay. Again, it is marked LC gold tone. You get the blue and the green. I'll turn my light up a little bit on this one here. There we go. All right, folks. We're gonna move it along. Get along, little Dougie. Let's see, this next one, this is a Napier. Napier. We're going to do a $5 start. I thought I was the only one that says okie dokie artichokey. <laughs> yeah, I say it all the time. I don't know why, but I do. I like it, though. It's got a good ring to it, you know? Oh, come on, you little stinker. Hold on. Get my hand out of there. Hope you've been doing fine, Tiffany. I am doing... Uh, good, yes. <laughs> there is your Napier mark right there. And you get the full over clasp. It is silver tone. You got the little rhinestones, one on either side of each, like, V. And I'm not sure whether to put less light. Yeah, less light. So there you go. It seems to be in great condition. Again, it is marked Napier. And I can get you a measurement on it here. Let me just open her up. And layer out. Just back a little bit. There's that. Let's see. Okay. You're looking at uh, seven and a half inches on this one here. A nice Napier bracelet. Looking for five dollars to start. I'm gonna put it on just like that. Nice silver tone with some clear rhinestones on them. Thank you, Kraken. Appreciate it. Cool Ranch comes on in for $5 on this. Looking for six. Again, seven and a half inches long. Maybe, uh, bring that down. All right. I'll let you guys do that. I'm going to look for something else right quick. Right quick. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, I'll do this one. Okay. And if there's no other interest, I'm going to go once to Cool Ranch for five, looking for that $6 bid. 16 people in the house. Thank you guys for hanging. Come on in and chit chat. Say hello. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Last call, y'all. And sold to Cool Ranch for $5. Thank you. Thank you. Cool to the ranch. All right. The next one here, this one is a uh, Simply Vera. And we're going to do a, uh, let's do just a $2 start. And let's see, the measurement on this, the length of the necklace, you're looking at um, about 16 inches, but you do have a two and a half inch extender. So you got your Simply Vera tag right there. You got the gunmetal gray lobster claw clasp. And let me see if I can get this sitting right. And then I'll bring my camera back a little bit for you guys to see it better. There. So there you go. You got the pieces that have the rhinestones on them. The big old, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with acrylic on these. They are like prong set. But then you get the glass beads here too. You get different shades of blue, darker blue, lighter blue. But simply bear a two dollar start. There we go. Any interest in this one? 
seems to be in great condition. Again, it does have, uh, it's 16 inches long with like a two and a half inch extender. So there's that piece on it there. Hey, Julia, Julia, good morning. Julia comes in for two, looking for three. There's that piece and then that piece. All the stones seem to be present. Oops. All right, enough touchy touch, Tiffany. I'm messing it up. <laughs> $2, looking for $3 on this. I'm going to watch Julia. We're going twice. Last call, y'all. Fair warning and sold. Thank you, Julia. Appreciate it. Oops. Come on, fingers. Get to working. Okay. Let's see. I have, let me just see if these are marked. I don't think that they are, and they are not. These are some little clip-on earrings. We're going to, going to do a $1 start on these. They are gunmetal gray. There you go. They are all acrylic. Mm-hmm, yep. You know, it'll be able to show one. There we go. So clip-on earrings, gunmetal gray. And again, they are not marked. Nice and lightweight. I like that little blue um, stone that they put there. Awesome cracking. Yep, I got you, girl. You're good to go. Thank you, thank you. So there they are. But they're cute. See, they kind of got, this one's more like a dark gray color. And then you got the neutral, like, browns different shades and then you get the one blue oops <laughs> there we go Alrighty, folks Alrighty then. if there isn't any interest that's okay let's see what else we got going on for you we're just kidding Kraken comes in for a dollar on this looking for two one dollar looking for two dollars there you go all right, I'm going to go once to Kraken for a dollar, looking for that $2 bid. Going twice. Last call, y'all. And sold the Kraken. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Let's see. One dollar. All right. The next thing, let's roll with... Um, you know what? Let's do a sterling silver ring. Let me just bust one out of the bag here. Just a random one. We're going to do this guy here. Uh, this one here, it is marked. It's marked 925 Mexico. It has been acid tested. You're looking at like a, a size 8. And we're going to do a $12 start on this one. And there we go. Try to get it to focus here. We are not Cool Ranch. Actually, I am going to be sticking uh, to, to mostly morning auctions from here on out for a little while, especially for the summer. Um, they seem to work best for me. And then I might do, throw in a few uh, late nights, like, uh, you know, 9, 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, p.m., Patty Teague is in for 12, looking for 13. And I'm, good morning, Patty Teague. Welcome in. And let me get you uh, grams on this, too. Yeah. Size 8-ish. Let me show you. I'll show you what my thing comes down to. So maybe, I don't know if you want to call it 7 a quarter or like an 8 and a quarter or an 8, but there you go. <laughs> You're welcome, Cool Ranch. And this is 4.47 grams. So we got Patty Teague in for 12 on this ring, looking for 13. Alrighty, folks. I'm going to go once to Patty Teague. Oh, I want to try something. Just out of curiosity, bear with me here. Oh, that's better. All right. There we go. <laughs> Going twice. Yeah, early. 
weed things are kind of hard. It's like either early or super late is like the best. <laughs> Last call, y'all. And sold the patty tea. Thank you, thank you. Do you do auctions on your channel too, uh, Kraken? If anybody does auctions on their channel or just has a channel they're trying to uh, gain more subscribers and such, feel free to uh, tell us what you do and drop your links. I'm here, but can't comment because Kelsey has my phone watching tunes. What's up, Ashley? <laughs> hey, that's that's what happens, you know. Good morning, Ashley. I have a bracelet. It is marked 925 Italy. Let me get a weight on it. Oops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so we're looking at two point oh shucks, two point seven three grams, and we're gonna do another twelve dollar start on this. And let me just fix my camera up a little bit. Bear with me here. Okay, is this like a herring bow? Is that what they call it, herring bow? And you get the lobster claw clasp. Lobster claw. There you go. And let me get you a measurement on this. Sit, boo boo, sit. I do every Wednesday and Sunday. Awesome. Guys, if you're looking for another auction channel, looking for different items, go check out Kraken. Um, you're looking at like seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter on the length on that. There we go. Any interest in a sterling silver bracelet? While you guys are looking at that, let me uh, dig around my brooch bin here. You know what? I don't know. I'm just going to pull a ran couple random things out. <laughs> there we go. We're going to roll it random. <laughs> so seven and a quarter inches. Looking for a $12 start on this. Sterling silver marked and verified. And if not, I'll put it off to the side. If you change your mind, you know what to do. Uh, let me put it right here. The next thing I want to do, um, you know what? Let's do this little guy first. This is Mark Monet. We're going to do a $3 start. He's just a cutesy, a little fishy. Does have a little bit of like um, tarnishing up here on his face, but it seems like the stones are all there. You got blue and green stones on him. You got the uh, green enameling. And then you get the Monet mark, uh, whoops, right around here. Right underneath that pin there. I'm not doing an auction today due to last week of school for my kids, so I'll be doing a live jewelry haul coffee chat. There we go. Last week of school, sweetness. Summer is upon us. Kraken comes on in for $3 on a little Monet, a little fishy. Bloop, 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 bloop. A pretty little blue and green rhinestones there. Come on, you little stinker. All right, folks. Any other interest in this? Looking for that $4 bid. Going once. Elizabeth K., what's happening, girl? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Nice noise effects, thanks. <laughs> Going twice. <laughs> Last call. Oh, and sold the cracking. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. $3. You know, I think I get that from playing with my three year old, I think. You know, <laughs> always get noise effects going on with whatever it is that we're doing. I have uh, another sterling silver ring. It is marked and verified. Um, we're looking at a size eight and a quarter. Let me just uh, type it in right quick. Right quick. Jules, what's happening, girl? Good morning. Oops. Sterling silver. This one here, we're going to do a $14 start on it. Oops. Oh, shucks. But there she be. And it is all so solid sterling. And let's see. Oh, there it is. The marking is right over here. So it's a 925 there. 
Thank you guys for hanging out with me this morning. And let's see, the weight on it is, let me tell you, 4.46. Julia, Julia comes on in for 14 on this, looking for uh, 15. I don't have an eight and a quarter finger, so this is how we're going to wear it today. In the middle of my index. <laughs> we got 14, looking for $15 on this guy, 4.46 grams. Marked and verified. Verified. There we go. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. Why did I do that? Look at that. Check her out. One of these days I will remember. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to pull out another one too. While you guys are doing that. This one's cute. Not cute. Cute's the wrong word on it, but it's nice, you know? All right, I'm going to go uh, once to Julia. Julia for 14 Looking for that $15 bid on this. Going twice. Last call, y'all. Fair warning. Sold to Julia. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, the next thing I got, let me get you a size on it. It is also sterling silver. This guy here is a nice man, man, oh my God, men's ring, size nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarter. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I doing? Um, <laughs> let's, do, let's do a $16 start on this one here. And let me tell you what's going on. It says dad. So it looks like it, it definitely needs to be cleaned up. Okay. Let me bring it over this way for a minute. Definitely needs a cleaning. It looks like it might be vermeil, like in the middle, but I'm not totally sure. Um, looks like you also have some market sites there. But there it is. It is marked. It's got China on that side, and this side's got the, uh, the 925 over here. But a nice dad ring. Uh oh, let me see something. Let me see something. I just want to see what a couple seconds of uh, polishing can do to this. Yeah, that'll clean up nicely. Yeah, that was just. Like two seconds of polishing, and it already made a little bit of a difference there. If I can get it to focus. Yeah, I already made a bit of a difference with just the two seconds of polishing. Any interest in this? Nice dad ring, nine and three quarters. And if not, I'll put it off to the side. And you know what? Um, I just changed it. $14, buy it now on this ring. Let me remove that. Again, it is sterling silver in size nine and three quarters. So first 14, we'll take that. The next thing I'm going to do, let's just do a little brooch lot. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five brooches. I'll just do a $4 start. Why not? So the first thing here, you get the gold tone bell. You get the little rhinestone here that uh, swings. Uh, this one does not seem to be marked. Thank you, Kraken. Appreciate you. Sold to you. So there's that one. You're going to get this uh, Jesus brooch as well. Oops. Jesus brooch. There's that. Let me just put the pin back in this one so I don't stick myself. Uh, this one is also unmarked, but nice, pretty, like a gunmetal gray with the uh, black stones there. Good morning, Wendy. Welcome in. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you being here. Uh, if you feel like you, um, I can't talk today. Hi, Wendy. 
<laughs> if you're interested in bidding, feel free to send me an email to Tiffany School Finds with your YouTube name, real name, zip code, and PayPal info so I can send you an invoice. Otherwise, if you just want to hang out and chat with us, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Let's see here. The next, the last one here is a gold tone leaf, also unmarked. So we've got Julia Julia in for four. We're looking for five, and you're going to get these five brooches on here, in here, over here. <laughs> you know, right here. And then Kraken got that dad ring. Let me write that down before I forget. Oops. Oh my God, what are you doing? Yeah, okay, there you go. Alrighty, folks. I'm going to go once to Julia Julia for four, looking for five on this. Going twice. Last call, y'all. And sold to Julia. Thank you. Appreciate you, Julia. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, and that size, you know, I'll type it in just in case, but uh, that size seven and a quarter uh, sterling silver bracelet that I showed. Bracelet. Let's just do a, a $10 buy it now. First person for 10 on that. Oops, I felt bracelet long, wrong, but that's okay. It's okay. You get the idea. <laughs> All right. This is a Betsy, Betsy Johnson watch. Now, I don't know. Let's just do a, uh, a $4 start as is. I don't know. I have not tested it. So here's the front of it. You got your Betsy right there. I have not tried it out. I have not added new batteries. $4 start as is. Love comes in for four. Looking for five. There we go. So it's going to need a cleanup. Going to need a battery. There you go. You got your Betsy right there. It does have some scratches. Uh, I'm not sure if those can be buffed out or, or how that works there. But here is um, the back of it. And then you open it up sort of like... Uh, oh, shucks. There we go. Like this there. You got your Betsy back there as well. So Love came in first for four, and then Kraken is in for five. So as is, it's kind of got like the uh, champagne sparklies. I think there should be a song. Champagne sparklies. There's the front of it. Open it on up. Here's your watch. We're cracking in for five, looking for six on this. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this morning. So I'll put that like that there for a minute. And I'm going to look for something else while you guys uh, look at that. Um, where would it go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do, right, I'm going to do this little guy. We got five dollars a crack and looking for six. What you thinking, love? I'm gonna give it a few more seconds here. Alrighty. I'm going to go once to Kraken for five, looking for that $6 bid, still kind of come on in. It's not sold until I type sold. It is cute. Super cute. Love comes on in for six, looking for seven. Hey, Demetrius, welcome in. Good morning. It's a nice looking watch. Yeah, six dollars looking for seven on the Betsy. Ah, my thumb is stuck. Kraken is out, so we're gonna go once, uh, going twice now to love for six looking for seven. Last call, y'all. 
fair warning and sold to love. Thanks, love. Thanks, Kraken. Okay. All right. This here, uh, you're sitting at size eight and three quarters. $14 start. Wendy just sent her info. Let me see. It has not come through yet, but sometimes it takes a minute. Seems to be the story of my life. You know, <laughs> when it comes to getting stuff in my inbox, sometimes it go in fast, sometimes not. I'll go check again here in a, in a minute, Wendy. Let's see. I'm going to make it one of those drop forms, too, to make it easier for, for new incoming folks. There you go. So size eight and three quarters is a sterling silver. Um, it is definitely verified. Let me check if it's marked. It does have some sort of marking. It's like in between the cutouts. But there's that. Real pretty. Patty Teague is in for 14 on this. Looking for 15. And let me get my little handy dandy little ring holder here out. I want to try something else. Let me put that inside the box with it. Hey, look at that. So we got Patty Teague in for 14. Looking for 15. Wendy, I got you. Thank you so much. Let me get you a wrench. And you are good to go. Is it a Ross Simmons? Let me get my little magnifying glass out. Let's back out. Let me tell you. Let's see. Um, let me find that marking again. So <clears throat> I'm going to see if I'm able to show you here. I can't make it out. Like I said, it's like in between like the cutouts. See how it's kind of like it's cut out like that? But I got the M, B. There's like an R over there, I think. So I'm not exactly sure what it was supposed to be. But it has been acid tested verified. And thank you, Wendy. Welcome to the channel. So there's that. And Patty Teague is in for 14, looking for 15 on this. But it's pretty. Me neither, Kraken. <laughs> I'm going to go once to Patty Teague for 14. Oops, I'm not typing anywhere. Let me try that again. I'm going twice. <laughs> Last call, y'all. And sold to Patty T. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Wendy has been smurfed. That's right. Oh my god, this little hair. Just go away. All right, got it in the trash can. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, thank you. The next thing I got going on. Let me just check these over real quick. These are marked uh, Coro. They do have all their stones. These are clip-on earrings. And let's do a $5 start on these. They're real pretty. So they got the Coro mark uh, right over here. Yeah, I promise you it says it. <laughs> A $5 start on these clip-on earrings. They are pretty. Here's the side profile of it, and then there's the front profile of it. Nice, pretty gold tone coral clip-ons. And you get your coral mark right there. Any interest in these guys? Beautiful though. Love that like uh, aqua marine blue or whatever. Any interest in these guys? Mm 
And if not, I'll put them off to the side. They's pretty. They's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let me grab another ring right quick. Well, this one's a smaller ring, but that's okay. Uh, is it marked? It is marked 925. 925 on this. You're looking at a size 5 and uh, 3 quarter. Oops, not 65, but 5 and 3 quarters. We're going to do a $10 start, and let me show you what we got going on here. So it needs a nice polishing. I do believe that that is uh, turquoise, but I'm not like 100% sure. So I'm just going to go with a uh, turquoise color on that there. But it is a much daintier ring. But nonetheless, real pretty. Yeah, a nice pinky ring for a uh, smaller pinky than mine. So I'm going to go back and put it over here. And you kind of got like, uh, see if I can get the focus here. Like stairs, for lack of a better term. Going up there. There we go. Any interest in this? You do have your 925 mark over by my uh, middle finger here, my thumb. $10 to start. Alrighty, folks. I'm going to take this and put this to the side. I am going to do, let's do, um, well, let's, let's knock this out of the park right, right quick. This is hand painted in Brazil exclusively, exclusively for Avon products. Um, let's just do a $2 start on this. So it's on a yellow, like a pale yellow cord. But, mm-hmm. Yep, hold on a second here. Let's get it to focus here. There we go. You get the pretty blue and yellow butterfly. You got the green leaves there. There we go. And then you get the sticker on the back there that says it's hand painted in Brazil for Avon products. So this is ceramic. So I guess you could take this off and put it on another necklace if you wish to, or leave it like that since I think that's how it was supposed to be made. Whichever tickles your fancy on that. And I wanted to test out a brooch real quick while you guys are uh, looking at that. Thank you guys for hanging out. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Come on in if you're just watching and say hello. Come chit chat with us. And that is not sterling. I am glad I tested it. Okay. <laughs> Any interest in this? And if not, I'll put it to the side. The next thing, let's do a uh, $2 start on this as well. Oops. Okay. And this is just a, a pretty brooch. Now, this is like a... All right, Kraken, thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you later on this week. This is like resin coated. It's super, super pretty. Almost looks like um I don't I don't even know how to explain it, but it's really, really nice in person. You got the jewels on the inside there. You got like the purple uh, and blue on the inside there too. There's the back of it. It looked like sterling to me a little bit. That's why I tested it, but it is indeed not sterling. There's that. Two dollars to start on this. Just pretty. I was going to say stained glass, but that's not the term I was looking for. It's not right. <laughs> All right, folks. And if not, that's okay. It does look old, doesn't it? I didn't do any research on it. I didn't see any marks. It scratched like sterling. That much I could tell you. Well, that's about it. <laughs> but if you change your mind, I'll put it over here. The next thing, let's go with, um, oh, I thought this was really pretty. Let me get you a measurement on it. I love the type of, um, the chain it's on. It's, I don't know what you call it, but it's cool looking. And let's see, you're looking at, um, 
16 inches with a two and a half inch extender. Jewelry, etc., is in the house. What's happening? Hello, hello. So, what's happening, Laura? Jewelry, etc., comes in for two on this. Looking for three. I'm going to go five, four, three, two, and sold to uh, jewelry, etc. Thank you, thank you. Or two dollar. Awesomeness. Oops. Okay. Let me do this. We're going to do a two dollar start on this. Woohoo! Thank you, man. <laughs> no, thank you. Appreciate you. Oops. Hold on. I'm a little bit. Uh... There we go. So it is unmarked. You get the lobster claw clasp. You got the extender. This is the type of like chain it's on. It's like a an I don't know, like antique gold. Would that be the term for that? I don't really know. But it's really cool looking. Nice and dark. You get the pink and the um white and then also the clear rhinestones there this is like a light pink rhinestone here the 16 inches with like a two and a half inch extender on this get this one here too this is going to come in after any interest in this necklace super pretty And I'm just looking at uh, a couple of rings before I show them. All right, guys, if there's no interest in this, I will go ahead and put it to the side. This next ring is Vermeil. It's marked and uh, verified. You're looking at a size 10. And we're going to do a... $14 start on this one as well. Now let me show you what's going on. Bring this down. So it's a real pretty Vermeer sterling ring if I can get it to focus here. Hold on. There we go. It's focusing. There it is. Just a plain simple band. It is marked um Something about turkey, 925 turkey, let me see, ODT 925 turkey, or GDT. There we go. Wait a minute. Yeah. Any interest in this? Just a plain, simple Vermeer band. Alrighty, guys. And if not, I'll put it off to the side. That's okay. I do have a few of these left. Some sterling silver amber pendants. And I did do the black light test on them as well. So there's number one, 925. Number two, $20. Buy it now on each of these. And they are amber, real pretty. Any interest in these guys? And let's see. I'm gonna go on over and grab something else too. Oh. Sterling silver. Trying to get a necklace on tangled here. There we go. Got it. All right.
it, and if no interest, that's okay. This next one is beautiful. This is a Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee, we're going to do a $6 start on it. Washer Claw Clasp, you do have the extender. you got your Cookie Lee tag right here. Love that type of chain on it. It's an excellent condition. And then check out the rhinestones and the flowers on it and such. It's super, super pretty. I'll bring it up a little bit closer to you, but check that out. It is so nice. You got purple and blue and pink and green on there. No tarnishing whatsoever. It's in perfect condition. There's the back. Right, Julia? It's so nice. Beautiful cookie lee. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play around for a minute. Too much light. Too much light. <laughs> Any interest in this? Looking for six dollars to start. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do this one next. Alrighty, folks. If not, I'll take it. Let's see. I'm going to get my baggie back for that so I don't get that tangled up in a mess of other stuff. This next one here, this is a bow sterling brooch. Um, yep. <laughs> We're going to do a $15 start on this. This one's really, really pretty. There you go. You got the two uh, roses, possibly. I'm not a, a really good uh, flower person either. But you do have your bow sterling over here. Oops, upside down. But it does say bow sterling there. It's in great condition. And you're looking at for measurements. Let's see. Two and a half inches. Any interest in this? Ouch. Roses for sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> I wasn't so sure. <laughs> Looking for fifty. Yeah, fifteen dollars to start. Acid tested. And marked. I just spilled orange juice on my desk. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. And if there's no interest in it, I'll take it and put it to the side. I got another smaller ring. Super cute, though. It is marked and verified. Now, uh, you're looking at a size six on it. And this one here, let's do a $12 start. Um, there you go. So I've got some more flowers. Oh man. Roses, irises, and daisies are all I know. <laughs> some sort of a flower here with the um the leaves, I suppose that would be. You got your 925 marking um, somewhere on here, I saw it. Over here. Any interest in this? This is a cutesy little ring. Any interest in this? There we go. Alrighty, guys. Let's see. The next thing. Then and for next, let's do. Oh, I don't know if love is still here. For anybody that likes cameos, this is on a nice long gold tone chain. You got the uh, sparkle uh, circle huh, spring clasp here, and then you got the cameo. So nice little necklace. We're gonna do a three dollar start on this. There we go. Nice and lightweight. I uh, believe that is. 
I believe that's resin. I'm going to go with resin on that. There's the back of it there. And then you got your gold tone chain. Any interest in this? It is pretty. And guys, after this, I'm going to show one more item. And then I'm going to boot, scoot, and boogie and help Jose uh, finish getting ready to take off for a few days. Aqua girl, what's happening, lady? Love comes in first for three, looking for four. But I think I'll be coming back on tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to bring Daniel to daycare, and I'm going to have the whole house to myself, and I'm going to have some jewelry lots ready. I'm going to get a bunch of stuff ready for you guys tomorrow morning. So I'm probably going to come on at 9 p. No, 9 a.m. Mountain, Sta Mountain Standard Time. Out to love. All right, guys. I'm going to go five, four, three, two, and one. Sold to love. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any larger women's rings? Nine and a half to 11 dainty. I have a ton of rings. Um, I bet you I, I got to have a couple at least. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll bring a bunch more sterling tomorrow. I'm going to have all the sizes and stuff already set up in gram. So that way it'll be smooth sailing. So come tomorrow morning and check it out. I'm going to be bringing costume rings and um, what you would call it, sterling silver rings, such like that. Let's see. My last one for this morning. I showed these last week, but I'm going to bring them back up because they're just, they're, they're so freaking pretty. Oh, Julia, I'm sorry. That stinks. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> Can I get a tooth pulled? Don't you love it? These are super pretty. Way too much light going on on my screen. Super pretty rhinestone uh, clip-on earrings. They do have some weight to it, and they're not marked, but check it out. Look at all the stones. Uh, it's so nice. And there is not one stone missing. So you got, like, your AB-coded ones. You got your... Um, topaz or whatever color looking ones here same thing here this is it's just really really pretty check that out <laughs> thanks i'll need it one thing after another right hey when it, when it rains it pours that's what i've uh, i've learned <laughs> any interest in these looking for five dollars to start Woo. Turning my screen blue. Hello. All right. Sheesh. I'll put, put it just like that. <laughs> All right, y'all. And if there's no interest, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip the screen. USB live camera. That's the one. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I got a couple of new people today. I appreciate you coming on in. Welcome to the channel and welcome back, everybody. I'll be back on tomorrow morning. It'll be 11 a.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard, which is my time. I will be doing more jewelry. I'm going to have some lots prepared. Um, it's going to be a fun show. I'll be bringing all kinds of stuff. I'll try to bring a variety of ring sizes if I can. Um, I do have a whole lot of sterling coming in in the next couple of weeks, and when I mean a whole lot, like yeah, my husband's like, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> so, guys, have a good rest of your day, and I'll check you all later. See ya.